Okay, so uh, I'm basically doing a review on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, the three different casing that uh, I have just received the everyday case and I received the um, quad locks max safe case and I have been using the iPhone 15 fine woven case since the release since I got my iPhone on the thing about how many days we 22nd three two three four five six about five days of using this casing and uh, all along on my iPhone journey I always use this case uh, the uh, quad lock case mainly for cycling use sports use so i have the quad lock mount on my bicycles uh, different bicycles have different quad lock mounts and the quad lock case i previously purchased the iphone to, uh, iphone 14 um yeah this is the similar case itself and the good thing about this case itself it comes with the mac mac compatibility means i can put macs um MagSafe uh, adapters, uh, accessories onto it and it will stay on. Example like the, example like for example, the um, Peak Designs uh, mobile tripod. And uh, this case is tough, is very tough. However, uh, for this case itself, um, it's, it's heavier and uh, bulkier. And, um, and the thing is that it, scratch, it does scratch on the surface itself so this is actually brand new but the old case that previously i sold away uh, it has multiple scratches on the surface itself uh, nothing cuts in deep because i didn't really uh, drop the phone on the ground uh, but if the phone does drop on the ground uh, my friend's phone survived uh, a drop via uh, using a quad lock case yeah so the quad lock case is very durable very tough but heavier when you're using it for sports purpose okay so the purpose of this video is just to show the different materials so uh, plastic wise uh, quad lock is basically a uh, plastic feeling um, fabric wise the uh, pig designs case um, there are two models of that case and uh, all this casing I I basically purchased it and it was not in any way sponsored so i'm more of a consumer level that i use it so one thing good about the peak design case is that there's new colors uh, the model that i bought with for this model doesn't come with the loop here the finger loop that you can put your finger through it uh, initially i bought that version for the everyday case but uh, in the end i don't really use it so uh, but the good thing about this case itself um it's uh when you fit in the phone into this case and you take out the phone from this case uh it's easier to take out uh advisable always to put the phone on the table before you remove the casing because you may slip and drop your phone on the ground when removing the case so always remove casings of your phone uh on the on, on the table on a flat flat surface itself wide enough that in the event that you slipped your phone will drop on the table itself um one thing about this case itself it has this uh, adapter here that you can use for your uh all the peak designs uh peak designs mount so for example i have a bicycle mount that i can put on my bicycle and mount this mount this casing my phone with this casing onto the bicycle uh seldom i do that unless uh i am riding uh, that type of rental bikes then i would need to use this case with the bike adapter that can easily remove yeah the bike mount can be easily removed as for quad lock mounts quad lock mounts are screwed on or cable tied in and it's uh, it's not removable that is not very removable friendly um okay so for this casing itself uh, I like the fabric feel. I've been using this casing, uh, the earlier version of iPhone 14 for a year. And I think Peak Design won me over because of number one is MagSafe compatible. Number two, it has this slim adapter here. Uh, number three, the fabric feel feels a bit different from my Spigen. I used to use Spigen's, uh, Spigen's casing, but Spigen's casing is the transparent version and and generally after a few months it turns yellowish and it's quite annoying that it turns yellowish 
Uh, but anyway, that's part and parcel of that plastic itself. Uh, so I will always have to change the Spigen casing. But the Spigen casing that I previously bought doesn't come with MagSafe. So, uh, so I move away from the plastic feeling, the transparent plastic into, into the fabric feel of this. Then uh, when the phone first came out, uh, I was not able to get these two casing in time. So what I did was that I bought the, uh, I bought the uh, iPhone fine woven case. So this case itself, um, it fits very well. And I feel that it's actually, it looks uh, smaller. Yeah, this case looks smaller. And this case looks a bit bigger itself. Uh, uh, the to remove the case for quad lock and peak design it's i remove it from the top so usually what i do is that the phone at the top here i'll just peel from the top layer pop layer then slowly remove the phone from re releasing the phone out uh, for the for the all this casing itself i noticed that okay for the camera module portion there is something protruding out so when you put the phone uh, on the table itself flat it will not hit the lenses but still we got to be a bit more careful with that um, the between these two casing itself the feeling of peak design it from my hands it feels a bit uh, heavier a bit it, it feels heavier than this this fine woven case however right now on the internet there's a lot of conversations about the fine woven case being not durable stain easily not waterproof and uh, so far, I don't have any problems with my peak design getting, you know, getting in the rain, uh, like light rain, uh, and getting stained or scratch, scratch. I think this material here can also be subject. If I put my fingers, it doesn't scratch. Yeah. And uh, what about this one? Yeah, this one it it does put it does leave some imprints on it. Anything harder, I think it will cut through the fabric. So durability wise, um, fine woven case costing about eighty five dollars not so durable but lighter it, it, it gives a very uh, if you hold a phone every day uh, and you hold it for more than eight hours a day uh, you will feel that the fine woven case um, the fabric this fabric is very comfortable to feel when you're holding the phone and you're messaging itself but if you are putting the phone aside and you're using it, and you're just uh, in the office itself and you're using your whatsapp from your windows desktop then you wouldn't be bothered much but if you're holding on this phone uh, all the time you'll feel that I, I just like the feel of the fabric and i like the color there's different color choices but durability wise is a concern so my question right now is that i got 14 days to return this this casing would i want to return it uh undecided uh, but I'm a bit worried about durability because I'll, every year if I change the phone, I will sell the casing away. So if the casing is not durable enough, it is basically a sunk cost where you pay 80 bucks and you total loss of 80 bucks versus you, you buy a casing and you can still sell for $10, $20. If you buy it for 80 or 60 sing dollars, you can still sell for 20 sing dollars. Not so bad. And when you sell to somebody, if the if the case is badly scratched, I don't think that's a very nice thing to do, especially if you have a review reviews of what you sell to people. So I generally would want to, wouldn't want to sell somebody something that it's poorly uh, poorly maintained itself. Anyway, um, the verdict is between these two casing is going to be my everyday use. I have to choose between peak design or fine woven unlikely that i will return the everyday case i think there's a there's a there's a return option to return this case uh, most likely cycling for sports and cycling wise this will be number one the one and only case that i'll be using uh, however for this case itself do take note that when you remove from the top uh, just remove the phone from the top on the sides over here over time when you peel it when you peel open uh, right now it's very tough but over time you peel open you'll find that uh, this portion here is actually I think it's glued on so you got to be careful uh, try not to peel the phone this way it may damage the edges it's, uh, it may damage whatever that's here so remove the phone from the top part 
yeah because the top part here the design itself there isn't anything glued on i think there is something over here that is if i'm not wrong i'm not sure whether is it glued on or not but uh the previous the previous design of the earlier version i found that it was a bit like uh yeah you try not to remove it push open this way it may damage the casing so pulling open this way is all right um okay so back to the question here is between these two but case i like this case is very light uh i try i will try i got another few more days before I, I can return and refund it so i would basically use this case and see how it feels uh maybe end of the day i may also keep this case and sometimes some weeks i may just use this case some weeks i may swap in between these two casing because most important all these three casing has MagSafe and that's very important for me not to charge the phone but to use the MagSafe accessories and also uh, protect the phone uh, yeah there are people who say don't use the phone with casing fair enough uh, if you feel of if you you if you are a very careful user I don't feel that I'm quite a careful person so I may dent the phone and it may affect the resale value of the phone in the future so uh so well lightest wise this is the lightest second in weight third this is the heaviest the toughest so this is the toughest in terms of if you drop the phone if you want to do a drop test this is the phone these two i wouldn't dare to do a drop test and what i read on the internet is that for the titanium uh surf the titanium corners of the phone apparently even within when you put within a case when you drop it the titanium gets dented i'm not sure how but uh, something to take note of if you ever slip and drop the phone but always uh, buy with apple care plus that will save you the trouble or frustration that the replacement cost i think if i'm not wrong is a thousand dollars for other damages so if your phone is being run over by a vehicle example if you are accidentally dropping while taking a bus and you drop the phone onto the road and the bus runs over it it's a total damage i think if I'm not wrong, it's a thousand dollars plus for other damages or more. Estimation on Apple's website. So get the Apple Care Plus and uh, then choose the casing that you want. And uh, and right now, so well, back to here again. Uh, three casings, uh, quad lock, fine woven and everyday case. Uh, I don't think you go anywhere wrong with any of these three casing especially if you want something colorful and uh, light this is the case to go for the, the the texture feel if you want something with more access accessibility and mounting options then everyday case from peak design fits well if you want something very solid and sturdy uh, quad lock is uh, one of the market leaders i think there are other other brands out there that uh, i really never really bothered to explore before using quad lock there's another brand i was using but i think that now i think i stick to quad lock i i don't really like quad lock as in putting the making the phone very heavy but i like it in the sense that it gives that protection and secure locking mechanism when i put it on my bicycle and uh, there are cases where people even crash their bicycle and the quad lock the phone with the quad lock mount stays on the bicycle yeah, it, it didn't really flew out. It didn't fly out. But provide, yeah, it didn't really fly out itself. So, uh, well, this is my review of the three casing. Uh, in terms of the composition or what is it made of, weight, uh, I'm not really going to be bothered in going to the specifics. You can go on the internet website to read out about the specifics. But generally, you know that uh, this video is just to showcase these three texture yeah I, I like this texture a lot this this texture is very nice to feel this is also another quite nice to feel texture this is the least i like to feel the texture for this so if you hold the phone for long hours i would either go for this or this my daily use will be peak design but maybe this may qualify for my daily use i'm not too sure uh, i should continue to try out the fine woven and uh, maybe I may fall in love with the fine woven's casing. Uh, but I know that this casing cannot be subjected to stains or water or rain. Yeah, it, I'm not sure. Yeah, it may actually cause an ugly stain on that. All right. So that's all for the these three casings uh, review for iPhone 15 Pro Max.